it's actually really impressive. I'm very impressed with it. I just met with Freewave yesterday to let him know that I, I am impressed. We normally aren't when we're doing these reviews. The API is actually pretty amazing. That's probably the, the biggest strength right now of the unit and, and the price point. So I'm actually really impressed. I'm grateful that Freeway gave us the opportunity to review it first. And uh, I hope you guys end up liking the content. Thanks. How's it going, gang? So it's Walker. I'm at the Intellic Mobile Command Center. Uh, which is our it's our RV company RV. Uh, we build demos and stuff. And one of these days, I'm actually going to give you a tour uh, of the of what we got going on here. But uh, this is a continuation of the FreeWave demo. I'm working with FreeWave Edge and the Zoom Edge unit. For those of you that don't remember what the Zoom Edge unit is, is uh, Zoom Edge is this module here, and then this is just expandable I/O, which you should be familiar with already. I've set up a little demo. Um, you should have seen in previous videos what this uh, what this already looks like. We're, we're already connected to a, an MQTT broker through our local network here, which is actually a cellular network. Uh, so right now, where I'm at in Mississippi, there's 4G LTE, which uh, I've got an interesting little setup here. This is connected to the cell phone that's got the connection, and then we distribute it to the entire unit. Um, this is actually broadcasting um, to the broker, which is in the cloud on uh, Vulture and uh, AWS. So I've actually got a broker running over here um, on my MacBook. You see I've got the, the Discord channel up here. Um, let me go to Fusion. All right. And uh, you'll see I've got uh, the... Uh, I've got uh, the devices publishing. So if we uh, run back over here, what I've got is a potentiometer that's just um, adjusting a single volt from uh, 12, 12.4 volts DC to like 12.9. I've got a push button that goes to an analog input. And that I got an LM35 temperature sensor, which I just pulled from some of these uh, Arduino kits. Uh, and so that's a quick update on the, the demo. I'm just midway through what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot some more content on my MacBook um, doing configuration and then from there we I'll finish the demo out this week and then we'll put together a final product to send out to the community my initial comments are it's actually really impressive there's a t really cool software API in here rest API on this unit that gives us the ability to basically access everything on the board it's pretty impressive the FreeWave Edge, the Edge component, which is basically being able to take registers, taking I.O. and taking registers from the unit and convert them to MQTT and either publish them flat or via Sparkplug B, is not even in production. I have a beta version of it. It's actually really impressive. I'm very impressed with it. I just met with FreeWave yesterday to let him know that I, I am impressed. We normally aren't when we're doing these reviews. Um, the API is actually pretty amazing. That's probably the, the biggest strength right now of the unit and, and the price point. So um, I think the community is going to be pretty impressed. This is going to be, where would you use this? This little unit here. So this is extendable. You can actually put, I don't actually don't know how many IO modules you can throw on here. They just basically plug into the bus here. So, but you stack these up and then you've got this unit. This will actually talk to a master radio, which I have right there. But this will talk to a master radio um, over wireless over 900 megahertz. Uh, right now, I'm just connected over the LAN to the through the Zoom Edge unit. Um, but there's no logic running on here, so you actually use the applications that are connected to the I/O to do all your logic for you. Or just really monitoring sensors. Where I really see this, the the key value for this, outside of the normal data collection for like oil and gas, water, wastewater, solar, wind, that kind of stuff, all the remote uh, light network stuff, uh, serial network stuff. Um, the place in the plant where this could be really useful is all of your auxiliary equipment that isn't part of the, the process. You can basically connect the instrumentation that is unique to a like an end line tester or a compressor unit like a lot a lot of scenarios are going to be like compressors standalone pumps um uh, level sensors in you know um s sump pumps that kind of stuff stuff that's not generally integrated into your control the overall control schema 
and adding a PLC to collect that information isn't worth it, right? Uh, or you can't connect to the embedded controller that you're using, that kind of stuff. You can basically take a unit like this and set it up easily. One of the other really cool things that I was talking with Freewave about yesterday is they're looking at making, so the unit, this IO module that I have here um, has 12 IO, okay? So, uh, and I, th I think it's four universal IO, um, four inputs, four outputs is how it works, I think. Um, what I've got done is the initial the initial uh, universal is set up as sensor power, so I can configure it as sensor power and I get 12 volts DC from our power, so I'm feeding 12 volts in here, so I get whatever's coming out. I get 12 volts DC to run through my uh, any of my sensors. But if you, if you have this unit, say I've got the zoom edge and I've got an IO module, that's all universal. So I've got eight IO points that are all universal that I can set up as either digital in, digital out, analog in, analog out then this is the perfect test unit. So let's say I wanna quickly, I wanna go out, I wanna connect some instrumentation that's not part of the network, but I wanna do some data collection on it for a short period of time. I wanna do analysis over 30 days, the kind of stuff that you would generally ask an intern or a co-op to do you know, over the summer while they're at their summer job. This is the perfect replacement for that. Um, because you to do the full setup, from when I pulled this stuff out of the box, and had everything set up was less than an hour. That is connected to the MQTT broker in the cloud, the whole nine. It was I, I had less than an hour's worth of setup, which is not really normal in in our industry. I mean, if I take a PLC and I want to go take a little MicroLogics or something and connect, I'm going to spend several hours getting everything set up because I got to write some logic to pull that instrumentation in. The way this set is set up, all I have to do is configure it in a web page, and it's all just point and click. And so it, it, the, I'm really surprised at what the setup has been like, how quick, how easy the setup has been. I really like the price point, especially on quantity pricing. We'll talk about that later, what, what it actually is um, in, the, in the full review. But I wanted to give an update in the middle of, of the development. So uh, anyway, uh, that's where I'm at right now. So again, uh, real quick, I got a push button, a pot, and a LM35 sensor. I'm actually going to control a little micro servo, servo out of it. Um, and I have a little Arduino uh, temperature and humidity sensor that I'll probably drop in there too, just so I end up with four or five different pieces of instrumentation. I was going to throw a thermal couple on there, but I had the smaller sensor, so I'm just going to use that. I'm actually really impressed. I'm grateful that Freeway gave us the opportunity to review it first, and uh, I hope you guys end up liking the content. Thanks.